Hey yeah, guys, what's up? It's Kahoob here, and today we're going to be talking about dodo birds and the extinction of the dodo bird, and also information about how the dodo birds were, and also how they became extinct, what the actual facts and everything are, is according to a source that I found. And like, so I'm just going to get started. So the first thing is that people always assume that all dodos were hunted down by European visitors since, um, they, uh, the dodo birds were really slow, had no innate fear of humans. Uh, but the thing is, that's only partially true. So, like, the sailors did hunt down a lot of the dodo birds, and the dodo birds were really trusting. Uh, the dodo birds just walk up to the sailors, and um, the what happens when they walk up to the sailors, or the sailors walk up to them, um, they just grab a machete and, you know, kill the dodo bird right there. So, like, the dodo birds were very trusting of humans since, uh, humans were new to the area. They, uh, never been to where the dodo birds were as, as far as the dodo birds knew. So, when they, the dodo birds uh, met the humans, they, uh, never saw any other animal that was able to hurt them in any way. So, uh, that was the first, uh, animal to them, the two-legged animal, which is a human, that, um, the dodo bird, uh, actually, um, was uh, a predator or whatever to it that would kill it so um uh the and uh so a lot of the dodo birds were collected by dutch sailors and settlers uh but the thing is the larger impact of their extinction was actually from invasive animals that the sailors had on the ships with them uh, kind of like cats, pigs, rats that they brought on the ships with the, them, and a few. So like the few of the animals that the sailors brought always found a way to escape onto the island that they went to each time they visited one, and uh, the animals that got left uh, off the ship and in the island that they went to would eat the dodo eggs. So they would always try and eat as much dodo eggs as they can, since you know they're hungry and whatever. So. Um, the reason it was so easy for the animals uh, that were in uh, that went on to the areas that were not normally from that area, why it was so easy for them to eat the dodo eggs was because the the dodos made their nest on the ground for the, to put its eggs in, and also um, another thing is about, that includes to the extinction was that the mother, mother dodo only lays one egg per season, so they don't lay many eggs and also the nests were unprotected and they weren't really safe from of any of the new introduced animals on the land so uh if the sailors and like the settlers um made sure no animal escaped off their boat off the uh off from traveling then onto the islands and just leaving them there like if those animals never went there then the dodo could have actually survived just from the sailors and settlers hunt, hunting them because uh, it they would still you know be reproducing a lot more and they, the eggs would be hatching and creating more dodos to then create more babies so the main issue was that when sailors uh, brought animals on the ship with them and let them uh, out onto and travel around the island and uh, forgetting to bring some with and couldn't find them they just left them there then those animals started eating all the eggs which you know when you, when you have like um more the more eggs you know the more dodos and the more dodos the uh more reproducing of even more dodos will happen so when the eggs are eaten that's a really big problem and so when you have the humans hunting them and these animals eating their eggs on the land that usually that weren't there before uh that <laughs> goes like straight to extinction like that's a huge thing that will make them extinct uh and so uh, as the humans like started hunting down the dodo birds, the dodo birds actually started to adapt to the humans and become more cautious of them. And so many of the hunters were actually attacked by the dodo's uh, hooked beaks. So the hooked beaks of the dodo would actually they'd use it to fight back for their survival to live. And uh, even though the uh, dodo birds started to fight back to try and live. It didn't really work out that well um, because they could not um, hide the nests and the chicks from the rats and the pigs. So even though they're fighting, they started to fight for their own survival. The eggs they uh, were producing, they couldn't really go anywhere that would put it in a safe area to keep it from the uh, animals that 
invaded onto the land that would eat the dodo eggs. So when the so here here's the, some information about the when the first dodo saw a human or like the you know the first dodo and human interaction was that um, basically when they met each other what happened was that um, the uh, dodo bird uh, just you know curiously walks up to observe the the human right the new visitor that's never been in the land to check out who it is and what they're doing and so um, you know the dodo bird just stands there and they get slaughtered because they come and like kill the animal and so you know they kill off the dodo bird and uh, so even though a lot of people have the stereotype of the dodo bird of oh the the really dumb animal that became extinct because of humans and because it never uh, protected itself or didn't, did or easily you know walked up to humans and just like died every single time. So uh, I wouldn't really call them dumb. It's more of their you know their curiosity. So because uh, there that's where they were normal to you know the land they were on. It's been like that forever. And then humans come onto it. They want to check it out and and see what they're doing and. Uh, if they'd even harm them because they actually had no uh, like predators on the land they lived so they can easily just like have eggs on the ground and then they just hatch and they create more dodos so um, it's mainly humans that brought animals over and and those two together making uh, dodos extinct and so um, another thing about dodos becoming extinct is that it actually affected a fruit tree that stopped reproducing 300 years ago since it was um, only uh, the only way the fruit tree uh, was reproducing was because it was passing through the dodo's digestive system that that the seeds became active and could grow so that was the the way the fruit tree started to grow is from the dodos so you know th there's usually a consequence of an extinction of an animal so that's like one consequence of an ex of the extinction of the dodo bird so that's just kind of one thing that um, happened that made the uh, that was bad for the dodo birds to go extinct because uh, they both they it stopped reproducing 300 years ago dodo birds became extinct over 300 years ago they, they, they're both 300 years ago so it um, evens out and you can already know that's why and how that happened and everything so um, Let's actually go and check out the dodo bird in person because I, I have a time traveler. Yeah, 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 time traveler. All right, let's go into a time traveler and check out the dodo bird. All right, here is a dodo right here. Uh, this is actually a female dodo. So, whoops, I don't want to be punching it. I don't want to be like those humans. So this is, uh, I wonder if there's any male dodos around here. If there's a female one, there must be a male one. So this is a very interesting dodo. So as you can see, I'm next to this dodo and it's not attacking me. So this must have been when uh, the extinction of the dodos did not start. So good thing it is not attacking me. This is before they became extinct or even close to it. So. That is why they're very peaceful and just walk around, uh, kind of like what I'm doing next to it, like observing it, kind of like how it observed humans when it first came onto the land. So it's pretty interesting to see, and it just pooped. So can we actually let's pick that? Okay, decomposes in a minute. I better pick up this poop. It weighs 0 0.3. So this is a uh, good evidence. I better not evidence, but. It's good to put in like a museum or something so pick up his poop and uh we let's see if we can find a male dodo that one's pretty interesting but let's see if we can uh go over here it came from this way so there must be a male dodo somewhere around here maybe we can try and get them to breed i don't see any though it might have been the last dodo to exist hello hello anyone there hello Trying to find some uh, dodos. I, try I found a female dodo. I, I need to find a, a male dodo. Hello? I need to find some dodos. Hey, come back. I need to find some dodos. Help me out. I, I found a female dodo, but I need to find a male dodo. Dude, what, what is he typing? I need to find some dodos around here. Usually they're down the beach on the other side. Okay, thanks. 
Awesome. Let's go and find some dodos over here. Oh, he said usually they're over on this side, so I'm assuming he meant like this. And we'll just walk down this way and check it out. I'm trying to find some dodos over here. Whoa. Is that dinosaur chasing me? Whoa. Oh, it's chasing me! Alright, I need to teleport out of here. I need my time traveler. I need to get out of here. I need to find my time traveler. No! No! Don't kill me! I need my time traveler! Crap. All right, here it is. Here it is. Oh, uh. Anyways, uh, I'll leave uh, a link in the description of all the sources I got to make this video. And this is actually a cool website right here that is uh, showing how the dodo is, even though it's extinct, there may be a way to bring it back as um, the, uh, here, this achievement made dodo extinction possible, the extinction. So that's meaning they can um, exist again, which is saying uh, an evolutionary biologist at the University of California, Santa Cruz, announced that the plant and animal uh, genomes, however you pronounce it, conference that the whole genome of the extinct dodo bird has been sequenced. So since it's been sequenced, um, they can actually make dodo birds de-extinct, which uh, is really cool to hear because making um uh dodo birds uh, alive again and in this world to be an animal that'd be really cool because i really like dodo birds i think it'd be really cool to have them exist in the world today and uh it really sucks that humans and messed up uh by making them uh extinct by always for, uh, not checking make sure they have all their animals back in their ships and you know just going and killing off all the animal or all the uh and killing off all the dodos and everything so that was uh that's really annoying and stuff that if the humans should have been a lot more uh safe about that but although humans were really a lot more dumb back then so they didn't really understand all this stuff about making animals go extinct so it makes sense that happened but it also sucks at the same time so uh this website is pretty cool because like i said they it's made it possible to make dodo birds de-extinct that'd be awesome like i said before so Hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you did give it a thumbs up and I'll see you guys later in the next video.